When I was 18 weeks pregnant, they discovered he actually had a heart defect. And so we knew when he was born, he would be going into heart surgery. It was a big sense of relief when they said, you know, he did great. The nurse went to put in a feeding tube and uh, put it in through his nose and um, she started to struggle and his color seemed to be, he seemed paler and he started blowing bubbles. And when we brought it up to the nurse, she came in and looked at him and um, just said, well, he's just a fussy baby. You know, I did tell her that, you know, the nurse previously struggled and had to put it under x-ray. And I felt a little dismissed when she was telling me, well, I've done this for 20 years and it should be fine. Right before she starts to do this, we tell her, you know, hey, his lips are turning blue. She finishes what she's doing and getting the feed and then starts to look and he starts blowing lots of bubbles. And at this point, she hits the call light. And then she looked at me and she says, I need you to run out in the hall and ask for help. And so I run out in the hall and I scream, my son is turning blue, I need help. And I think there was probably over 20 people surrounding his bed, doing everything they could. You just see all these people and they're working on him and they're working on him and they're working on him and then that team moves and another team comes in and they, they're working on him and working on him and working on him. And I'm thinking to myself, this can't be happening. Like we're supposed to be going home in two days. And then at nine o'clock or a little bit after, I hear the doctor call. She says, we're gonna call it. He's passed away. Right there, you just break down. You know, they just, this isn't supposed to happen. He was doing so well. They said he was going home in a couple of days. What happened? So they sat us down in the room. Grant's still laying there in the crib. And they told us, from what we could tell, it looks like the feeding tube that your son had went through his trachea and went into his lungs. The feeding tube nicked like the back of his throat. And when the milk went in, it went into his lungs. Our baby drowned on his own milk. And immediately I thought, I asked all these questions. I don't understand how that could have happened. Through our study, we've discovered there are probably at least 25% of children that are at risk um, of a misplaced feeding tube. and something needs to be done about it. Deanna has, you know, taken that by the scruff of the neck and have turned it into amazing things. Something needs to be done. We need to have the statistics to support it. And if we don't have the statistics, at least to have a method to say, this is the best practice and everybody should use this method going forward. And you need to stop the auscultation and aspiration because that does lead to death. I lost my son because of that. I don't want anyone else to lose their child because of it. And there was one day they were making some more changes at the hospital and they called it Target Zero and it stands for zero harm. Of course, I'm looking at every single child and we're talking to the nurses and we get to one child who's on a feeding tube. So I start asking that nurse some very leading questions to the point where she finally turns to me and she says, well, about five years ago, we had an infant that had a feeding tube put in him wrong. And so that's why they do it different now. And I looked at her and I said, thank you. You have just told my story back to me and validated that my son's death was not in vain and that people have learned from it and do remember him. When you have other people telling your story the same way the story was told to them, then you know that you made an impact on somebody's life at that point. Maybe if that one nurse had stopped and didn't put that last feed, maybe there would have been enough time to resuscitate Grant and that he'd be with us today. I'll never know. But maybe if she had paused and listened to us, maybe he would have.